much to think that we might have had some impact on the election. But honestly, it wouldn't change the decision. Everybody who disagrees with me has to come back to October 28th with me and stare at this and tell me what you would do. James Comey talking and testifying in front of Congress yesterday. It seems like Washington cannot get over the fact that Donald Trump won the election. Brad Melke, ABC News correspondent, following the story. Good morning, Brad. Hey, good morning. It seems like they just can't get over the fact that Donald Trump won. Either side can't. Well, especially when you saw the, the outright skepticism, the dismay from Democrats there when they asked about Jim Comey's decision to go ahead and reopen that investigation in the Hillary Clinton's email server. And he acknowledged the timing was poor. He said it's 11 days before an election. Uh, and he admitted that he might well have had an effect on the election. However, he said if you go back, there was absolutely nothing else he could do. He said there was no door labeled take no action. Instead, he could either speak and say here's what's going on or he could consider seal the fact that they were reopening this investigation. He said that would be catastrophic for the Bureau. Here's what I don't understand. Anthony Weiner plays a big part in this because somehow classified documents ended up on his email server, which is what he was investigating. Did he ever figure out who sent the emails to Anthony Weiner? Well, what, what it turned out was that Huma Abedin, uh, his, his wife, was sending him email, was sending emails to his computer because she wanted to print them out for Hillary Clinton to see. Apparently, uh, James Comey said this was kind of a matter of course. This was a habit for Huma Abedin to email uh, essentially classified information to her husband's computer to print out. And, and as one or more senators said, Anthony Weiner should not be getting access to classified documents. Uh, and they said if there's not a rule against that already, there, there really should be. Uh, and so James Comey said that this doesn't necessarily constitute uh, breaking the law because he, you know, from his perspective, it didn't seem as if Huba Abedin was doing it with any intent to circumvent classified document laws. So that's why she didn't get charged. But uh, he also said there was no Wiener rule that he knew about. And, and Lindsey Graham said, well, maybe there should be. There should be a Wiener rule. I don't know what uh -huh. it should say, but there should be a Wiener rule. Um, so you're telling me this all hinges on the fact that Uma Abedin's printer wasn't working, was out of toner. Yeah, essentially. Well, and just this kind of weird system that seemed to exist in the Clinton office of needing to print out emails for convenience sake. It sounded, honestly, it sounded a lot like the language we heard about Hillary Clinton talking about her email server, right? It was a mistake, but I did it out of convenience. Right. Uh, once again, that excuse kind of coming to the, to the forefront. So is this over with, Brad? I, I, I got 30 seconds. Where does this testimony in this investigation go from here? I mean, I think we've heard from Jim Comey all he's going to say about his decision to go ahead with that Clinton investigation. It seems clear he's not going to apologize for acting the way he did. The new questions now will be what is happening with the Russia investigation. But because he says he doesn't comment on ongoing investigations, he says you're not going to hear a peep about him on the Russia story. And that, of course, also has Democrats upset. The question again being, why do we hear so much about Hillary Clinton but so little about Russia? He says the difference is he closed the investigation into Clinton. When he reopened it, he had to say something. Brad, so with Russia. Brad Milkey, thanks for checking in. Have a good day. Thank you. 656. We do need a wiener rule. 656.